When it comes to internal and external range liquidity, people often get confused on how to implement it to their trading style. Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you the best possible way you can use external and internal range liquidity. The first version you can implement external and internal range liquidity to your own trading style is by using it as a draw on liquidity. Now, I hope everyone have the simple understanding on what external range liquidity and internal range liquidity is and how it moves. And if you don't have this simple understanding, you can watch my video I made about it. Now, the way we can use this as a draw on liquidity is that we know price moves from internal to external range liquidity and then from external to internal range liquidity. And it's very unusual that price moves from external to external range liquidity. And with this in mind, we can then start implementing this to our own trading style by using it as a draw on liquidity. For example, here we can see that we have a dealing range, external range liquidity on both sides. Then in the middle or in between, there is nested a fair value gap, as we can see. This would be considered as internal range liquidity. When price moves down into this internal range liquidity, where it becomes a draw on liquidity. As we know, price moves from internal to external range liquidity. So the draw on liquidity becomes external range liquidity. Now let's see what happens when price moves into this fair value gap. And we do see price reaches down into this fair value gap, makes a small mohawk through that consequent encouragement, which is permissible price action, and afterwards extend out, reaching that external range liquidity, which was a draw on liquidity after delivering from the internal range liquidity. If we just were to go down into the one minute time frame, we can then see how using external and internal range liquidity as a draw on liquidity can significantly help us when it comes to implementing it to our own trading strategy. Now here we can see that price reached down into that large fair value gap on the higher time frame, which we would be considering as internal range liquidity. So if we just zoom in, we can see price is starting to make a delivery from that and also creating a singular IFEG. And if you were to trade IFEGs, this trade setup would be perfect as we have a clear draw on liquidity and a clear delivery. So then you could potentially, if you wanted to take a trade entry, put your stop loss at the low, and then you want to target the external range liquidity. So that's how we can use external and internal range liquidity to our advantage by using it as a draw on liquidity. We can also use this draw on liquidity method the opposite way. And what I mean by this is that price, which I just showed you, moves from internal range liquidity, and from there, the draw on liquidity becomes external range liquidity. Now, the way we can do it this the opposite way is that when price sweeps external range liquidity, then the draw on liquidity now becomes internal range liquidity. Right here, we can see that we have this low, which would be considered as internal or external range liquidity. So let's see what happens if price wants to sweep the external range liquidity. And right here, we do see price sweep that external range liquidity. Now, where it becomes to draw on liquidity? Well, we can see that we have a bunch of swing highs up here, and we also have fair value gaps. So if we just were to draw out a Fibonacci tool right here, we can see that we have these relative equal highs, which is nested up in the OTE, and that we also have two fair value gaps, which is nested within a premium. Now, Price could, of course, be very bearish and just react from this fair value gap, but price usually tends to move a bit higher when we're not that bearish. So let's see what happens. And we do see price disrespect this FVG. So now the draw on liquidity becomes the next FVG. See right here. And we do see price don't really show any willingness of moving lower. It just went into this FEG and then from there expanded higher. And we can also see price move into this FEG and from there price did not show any resistance and still moved higher. Now the last draw on liquidity would be these relative equal highs. We do see price sweep the relative equal highs, but still price could react from this FEG. And again,
price move higher, sweeping this high, and now from here, price is starting to move lower. And here, price reap that external range liquidity. We can see how price, when it disrespects internal range liquidity, then it goes after the next internal range liquidity. As first, when price whipped the external range liquidity, then from there, price move up into this FVG. It showed no willingness of moving lower, and it actually uses as a IFVG. Then comes the next internal range liquidity, price closed above it, used it as a IFVG. Same with this right here. Then after that, targeted, as we can see, these equal highs. Then from here, price moved lower into a IFV or FVG, moved higher, sweeping that high, and then finally sweeping this high up here. And then from there, price moved lower, sweeping that new external range liquidity which price just made. Another way we can use the external and internal range liquidity to our advantage, then we just have to go up to the daily time frame, as that's where we can use external and internal range liquidity to define bias. And what I mean by this is what we can see right here, price have just swept this high, which would be considered as external range liquidity, right? And where is price most likely going to reach for now? Internal range liquidity. And we can see that this is a high probability FEG as we have a order block and also a breaker block nested within this FEG. And <clears throat> if we just take a closer look, we can see that the lower quadrant of this breaker block is paired with the consequent encouragement of the fair value gap. So this is going to be a part of interest for us and potentially see price making a reaction, sweeping the next external range liquidity. And we do see perfectly price delivery, price moved down into the consequent encouragement, failed to reach the lower quadrant of that breaker block, and from there, price made or ran external range liquidity with a lot of displacement, showing price is mostly bullish. Now that price just have ran external range liquidity, we can see it formed a new high up here. And then we would want to see price just move down into this FEG or one of these two FEGs and then from there reach external range liquidity. But price instead chose to fail to reach that consequent encouragement of the recent FEG we just saw a beautiful price to derive from. So let's see if price is now willing to move from this FOG up to the external range liquidity. And we do see price reach that external or sweeps the external range liquidity. When price is expanding lower on the higher time frame, making lower highs and lower lows, that usually signals on the lower time frame that price is moving from external to internal range liquidity and then from internal to external range liquidity. And where we can see this if we just drop down into the lower time frame. Let's say the 15 minute time frame as we were on the four hour time frame before. And first of all, we just have to take a quick look up here. But we can see price just ran external. From there, moved up into internal, right? So we are seeing that price is moving from internal to external range liquidity. And then from internal, price then moved down to external range liquidity. So already moved from external to internal and now from internal to external range liquidity. Where is the drawn liquidity now? Internal range liquidity after price ran this low. So let's just say we're looking at this chart here. Then we see actually at 930 manipulation lag, price ran that external range liquidity. So now we could be anticipating price to move from internal range liquidity. And here, this would be the first internal range liquidity. Price show no form of resistance or no form of it wants to move lower. Where it comes to drawn liquidity now, the next internal range liquidity. This FEG doesn't get respected. But then these equal highs or this high up here would be the next internal range liquidity. We do see price doesn't make a lot of displacement above that high and that signals price is most likely willing to move lower from this level. So then where's your draw liquidity now? It's external range liquidity, right? We do see price ran external range liquidity. So again, this is how we can use 
external and internal range liquidity as a draw on liquidity to our advantage, and also how to recognize when price is moving from external to internal range liquidity by looking at the higher time frame. Now, when it comes to implementing this to our own trading style, then we can go down into the lower time frame and see how this looks like. Now we are on the 15 minute time frame right here, so then we would go down into the one minute time frame. Here on the one minute time frame, if we just zoom in, we can see that price was actually just moving from external to internal range liquidity. As we see, external, internal, external, internal, and then now external, and then price disrespected this, FEG. So this would be actually be considered as a IFEG setup. This price just dis disrespected internal range liquidity. And on the higher time frame, we know that the draw on liquidity is the external range liquidity all the way down here. And this FEG or IFEG now really just gives us extra confirmation that price is now willing to move lower from price sweeping the internal range liquidity on the higher time frame. So a trading tree could actually be placed where you would want to put your stop loss or just exit the trade when price makes a close above this IFG or just at this high. And then we would target the internal range liquidity or just put our stop loss at break even when price ran internal range liquidity or just target all the way down for the external range liquidity as we see. So that's how we can use external and internal range liquidity both on the higher time frame or as a draw liquidity to then implement it to our own trading style on the lower time frame.